Hi, welcome to automation testing routine. In this video, we are going to see a sample C sharp program using Bogus API. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here, I will write a test public void Bogus test data generator. To work with Bogus, we need to add bogus api to your visual studio for this i'll go to nugget packages manage nugget packages browse just search for bogus brain chavez this is the one click on and i already installed this one i have an update for now i do not want to do now so if it is not installed, you just install it from here and we'll start using the same thing here. String full name is equal to new bogus dot. You have data sets sets dot name dot full name string first name equal to new bogus dot data sets dot name dot first name string last name equal to new bogus dot data sets dot name dot last name string address equal to new bogus dot data sets dot address dot city string phone number is equal to new bogus dot data sets dot phone numbers dot phone number and email is equal to new bogus dot data sets dot internet dot email okay i took all the things now i want to print all these things in the console okay now We'll execute the same thing and we'll see whether it is generating random test data for each time or not. Right click, run tests. Now it generated. Click on output. Then you can see the full name is Zora Bernier. First name, last name, the same way you found all the things. So I'll execute the same thing again and we'll see what will happen. Run tests go to the output this time some other data if i want to generate the same test data for country specific so what i need to do i need to mention country specific in the categories i'll say india en india will generate india specific data you have to mention this in the category okay now I'll execute the same thing and we'll see whether it will generate country specific data or not. Yeah, it's done. Click on this one. You see Dwaipayan, Embarin 3, Diksha, West, Agrata, something like that. It will generate country specific data. This way you can generate random unique data and you can feed into your application using selenium program we will see a sample selenium program in the next video thank you